I think clarity is important to the extent that you have clarity that I want to learn this skill to create this project or embark on this career, then you can invert, right? Inversion is a really good model of thinking. It happens to be the case that a lot of people have no idea what they want, which is fine. Most of us don't. We're all figuring it out as we go. But to the extent that you have clarity, you're a banker, you want to learn data science, you want to get into machine learning at a crypto hedge fund. Well, now you know the endpoint. Now you know what sort of models are useful. Now you want to know what project to accelerate you want to build. Now you want to know what programming language in Python is important for you. And you also want to get a lay of what these companies are hiring for. We try to break that down in every single step possible from the career guide. Hey, on our website for free, you can see what these companies are hiring for. You can look at literal job descriptions every day that are being updated every hour on what these companies want structured queries on hey do they need nlp do they need large machine learning models do they need more python right you get a sense of salaries you get a sense of soft skills aptitude and as you're going through the course we want to encourage you to learn the theory which is base one but then your base two should be projects that are relevant to your interests because you're more likely to flourish in those projects don't just pick a random e-commerce cat video project then thirdly we bring the companies to you so pwc is a very successful example where students get a chance to get a guaranteed job offer if they pass the pwc accelerate credential we're working on rolling this trained to hire where you have job guarantees or internship guarantees or interview guarantees mm. with a number of different players in financial services, in manufacturing, in Web3, and even in retail. There's still a lot to be done, but the key thing is to try and break the gap between education and employment. The universities, the average student might take six to 12 months to go get a job. Mm. Even then, the company is spending three to six months to try and onboard them. That's a lot of economic waste of human potential. What happens if I could shorten that down from a four-year degree into four months? What if that 12 months of looking for a job was 12 hours? What if the final thesis of a PhD, which might last two or three years, could be done in two or three weeks? It doesn't work for everyone. I don't believe that we're going to replace universities here. Not do I want to. But for fast changing industries, quick courses, almost like apprenticeships on demand, we have found a very positive uptake amongst not only the students, which is really important, and the companies, which is just as important, and the government that has accredited us. And most importantly, that these three stakeholders keep working in a parallel network effect. They keep supporting each other on this Accelerate Train to Hire platform.